not really the deck. We're on the patio. Yes. The deck's got a fresh coating of stain on it, so yes. you can't quite smells use it. Yes, smells great. Smells great. Good <laughs> well, job, Arnie. That's right. But we're out here. We got another thing that smells great out here. You're cooking oh, up some uh, mushrooms, right? You know, stuffed mushrooms are delicious to do. The key thing with mushrooms, Phil, is to slow cook them. Okay. And, and it really is. And I can see the juices <clears throat> bubbling out of them, and that's, that's right. what you want to do. It. Uh, uh, especially, I put fresh mint in there, and that right. has a tendency to burn. Fresh herbs oh, do. Oh, okay. So you got to slow cook things. So I actually have the two outside burners on and I slow cook these for about 35, 40 minutes already. Mm -hmm. And then the ingredients we used is right here. Uh, we put some pinto beans in there. I did some wonderful wild rice, some walnuts, some raisins, and uh, some cut up leeks. Right. And, and we mixed those all together and we added some nice garlic and herb cheese. Uh, Renard's finest garlic and herb cheese, and you had some. That's right. I tried a little chunk of it. It's good stuff. It is good stuff. It gets, isn't your, ta it? It gets your taste buds' attention. It certainly I'll tell does. You that much. Yeah, it certainly does. So those are stuffed mushrooms on the grill. You know, and people can do anything. People do cream cheese mixtures. People do cheese mixtures. They take uh, regular uh, stovetop stuffing and stuff the mushrooms. Okay. You can make it into a green and gold one if you want to for the Packers, obviously. Right, right. Yep. You can't ignore the Packers on a day like today. Uh, can, can you like put like, a, could you put like bacon in there? Or does you want to stay you away know, from the meat in there? Phil, there is no right or wrong in this world. <laughs> as right. long as you don't get arrested and put in jail, there's no right or wrong in the world. I like the sound of that, especially as it applies to the culinary arts. Yeah, exactly right. Or life in general. Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> so even, you got, being a, even being a meteorologist, Phil, <laughs> there's no right or wrong. Well, that's right. Yeah. Especially not for us. You no, know, exactly right. Got the easiest jobs out here. Uh, so, and then you've got something else going on later on today. You know something, right? we're going to be at uh, Willie Beeman's okay. in Nina. Okay. And, and, and it should be a great time. It's a neat little uh, a sports bar, and they're going to have a tailgate party. We're going to get there about 11, stay till about the end of the game or so. So it should be a good time. Okay. And any idea what's going to be on the menu for that? What's you know, they're going to do, uh, he's going to do some uh, uh, pizzas. We're going to okay. do a whole bunch of hors d'oeuvres and uh, organic sweet corn. Organic the, the sweet corn? The last sweet corn of the season he's going to serve up. Okay. So it should be a good time. Yeah, I was actually just out doing a story on the corn harvest, and they were telling me how the last of that sweet corn was starting to come off. And I wonder if because it's organic, he's taking better care of it, no offense, uh, or, or more care of it, that, that, that it becomes a, still still you can have it at the end of the season. Right, we'll right. See what I happens. know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And I know yeah. you said Willie Beeman. Is that like Steeman Willie Beeman? Are we That's, talking about you know, any given Sunday reference? W w Willie Steeman Beeman. We'll find out today <laughs> and I'll find out for you and I'll come back next week and report on it. Thank you. Because yeah. I'm, I'm dying to know if, so if that's a Steeman Willie Beeman reference. Yep. So, anyways, yep. all right. Well, thanks a lot for uh, stopping out here. We're going to have more from out here on the weather deck yep. in just a little bit. Uh, we've also got uh, the CW14 star Katie Furnetton as we head to break. She's here to tell us what we, we can expect on the CW14 this week.